wheels are different for this year as well. They changed the wheels. They got a five-spoke wheel on there. But I think we need to start redesigning the CBOs that the other one comes with the BBT. This one doesn't. So the ST model does not come with the BBT. You see it, it has like paint brushes and the detail of the paint. So you see flakes here on the black. I do gotta say there's one thing I don't like about this bike. Come. I mean right now. What's up guys? We're here at Bergen County Harley Davidson. Look who's back. What? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's been out for a while, but he's finally back. So, uh, wait, no, you're 100% back soon. Soon, February 15th, I'll be back in the dealership. There but I go. had to come down and look at the new bikes. Yeah, so we're here at the dealerships. Obviously, today was the launch. Um, if you guys already saw the other video, um, me talking about uh, my reaction towards the whole video. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. Um, but what I wanted to do was just come over here, do a quick little walk around and show you guys all the colors up close and personal of all the uh, brand new roguelides and street glides. We got the CBOs here, we got the regular road glide and um, street glide. Far back over there, which we're gonna give you a close little look up right now, we got the uh, road glide CBO ST, such a long title. And that thing looks amazing in person. That this, what, what's the actual black color called? It's something, I don't know, but it's a black one. It's, it comes in black and it comes in white. Um, but even inside here, you can see the crazy flakes. The amount of flakes that paint has in it, 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 it looks insane. I'm pretty sure in the sunlight, it's gonna pop even more. Let's take a walk around. I'm gonna show you guys all the colors that are available here. Um, and I'm gonna tell you which colors look really good in person, which colors I would kind of pass on. Um, but I'm really, really, really impressed. First of all, this bike here is $25,999, which is cheaper than if you were to get a Road Glide Special right now. Road Glide Special is probably like $27,999 or $28,29 around that ballpark. This is twenty five nine nine nine. I'm, I'm, and I'm hardly really surprised with this. And it's, it's crazy to say that you're gonna get a better bike, a new bike with more add-ons to it for a cheaper price. That's crazy. It is. I'm impressed. What's the actual black color Raven called? Metallic. Raven Metallic. That's what it's called, the black color. And then the golden white pro. Yeah. The yeah. There we go. This is the uh, Sharp Spin Blue. My favorite color probably for this year um, on the regular models. If, it was, if I was to get a bike this year, it would be this, or it would be the black. We'll show you the black in the street flat over there. But this color here is absolutely beautiful. Um, so, the whole new body that you saw on the CBO for the 2023 models is what you're gonna find here. So as far as body-wise, nothing has changed. You're gonna find this bike just like that. Only thing you're not gonna get is the um, the side fairing that you're gonna have on the CBO. This doesn't come with it. Um, but obviously you can order that from the uh, Harley Davidson catalog. Um, you're gonna have the option to get this bike with all black components. Also, a uh, chrome. The wheels are different for this year as well. They changed the wheels. They got a five-spoke wheel on there. Five-star wheel. It's really nice, two-toned as well. That's a really nice wheel. Really cool. Um, you're gonna have your crash bar in the front. You're gonna have that 117. I know if you saw the other video, I said that the I might have mentioned that I said that it has a VBT. It doesn't. Uh, only thing with VBT is gonna be the regular CBOs, and not even the ST at that. The ST is not VBT, um, but no VBTs. Um, the 117 in the regular models. It's just the 117 now. We've got the new air cleaner on there. Um, the bags are still the same as well. New redesigned seat. Let's sit on it. A flat foot. 5.7. The seat feels comfy. I mean, right now, I'm sitting on it. I don't know if I'll go out and put a few hundred miles on it, right, but right. it's um, it feels comfortable. Yeah. Feels very nice. Um, I'm really happy that I also kept the lights as well. Uh, the rear lights. I thought that we're going to be changing out the lights or maybe giving a different option for the regular models. Um, but the lights are the uh, the same. I do gotta say, there's one thing I don't like about this bike. 
The Interferon. Matte black. Like, why not keep it gloss? Gloss would have been really, really, really nice. Um, that's, that's like the only thing that I gotta be like, I kinda don't like it. Um, but music system has been upgraded as well. So I was gonna sound a lot better than the previous models. Um, yeah, that's, um, that's a lot. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot more, but we're, we're, I, I don't wanna give you guys too many details on the, the whole bike. I wanna show you guys the colors most of all. There's gonna be other videos coming out where I'm gonna be doing in-depth reviews, um, riding it as well. So tune in for that. I got a huge surprise coming for you guys as well. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, 2024 Harley Davidson Road Glide. Beautiful. Let me show you guys this color right here. What is this, like a blue burst? Is that what it is? I think, I think, it's, a, I think it's a blue burst. Um, looks nice. Is it my color? No, but it's 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 nice. It looks really nice with the with the black components on it. Um, pretty sure with the chrome, it, it'll look nice as well. Over here we got the street light in black. I, I, I like I like the black a lot. I really like it a lot. Like if I was to get a street light, it'd probably be this one right here. Black with the black components. Really, really nice. So once again, the interior dash. It's all matte black. No gloss. I really wish it was gloss. One thing I really do like about the street light guys, look at this. Boom. You would put your phone in there or your keys, whatever you want. There's a little hidden compartment, so you just push that in. I'll show it in there. So nice having a little option there. On the um, and the roguelite is different. So now, uh, you uh, push this in for the compartments, and it pops up. So on the older models, you had to like lift it up. This one kind of clicks in, and there's a lot more space in there. Um, so you can fit in a few more things. So you have the option on both sides as well. The CBO. That black and orange color. Um, it looks nice in person. I did mention in the other video that it was like, eh. um, but it looks it looks way way nicer in person. I really like this color a lot. Um, so for the CBO, you're gonna get uh, speakers on the bags in the back, and then the 121 with the VVT. The ST is not gonna have that. ST is not gonna have the speakers in the back. Um, it's not gonna have the VVT, and it's not gonna have the 12 seat. It's only gonna come with the one seat. So I'll show you guys in a few minutes. But this, this bike looks beautiful, man. I really love the, uh, the the tank design with the number one there. That looks pretty cool. That's more really nice. Take a seat on this right here. There's one color that I really want to show you guys. Alpine green, new for this year. We're gonna have it here on the um, on the breakout, but it is available on the new baggers as well. But it's a really nice color. I'm actually a big fan of the green colors. I've been saying it for the past few years. I'm like, I really want to see a, a bike with a, with a nice deep green color, and, and this is it right here. It's like that perfect color. Really nice. So imagine this alpine green on a bagger, black components with some gold accents on it. Oh, that would look sick. Then we got my favorite bike over here with not my favorite color, ketchup. We're just gonna call it that, leave it at that. Um, amazing bike, not a fan of the color. And we got the, um, I think it's Baja Orange for this year on the, on the Street Bob. Really nice. What I do like about this year on the Street Bob, for if you wanted it black, you're not gonna have that black and orange accent color in the tank. She's gonna be all black, which is gonna look, it looks way, way nicer. Um, but I think we need to start redesigning the tank logo. I said it before, but it's like three or four years now with the same tank logo. Let's switch it up a little bit. Um, blue burst over here in the street box. Then we got standard. That billiard gray now, which is gonna be your standard color. Billiard gray is not your standard color, not black. You're gonna pay a little additional money now for, for black. Um, not, I really like the CBO in person now, man. Like a lot. The orange. 
the two tone color. I, I wasn't crazy about her in pictures in the video, but in person it looks a lot better. Really, really nice, man. It's even bold. yeah, even like the silver here, you can see it has like paint brushes in the detail of the paint. So you see flakes here on the black, flakes on the orange, mm -hmm. and here's just like a paintbrush kind of yep. that went through it. That looks really cool. They put it on all of them that are CBOs. There we go. 25 years, 25, 25th, 25th, 25 year anniversary of uh, CBO. Yes. Is that what it is? And that's on all of them now. Cool. We got the CBO Street Fight too. Oh, I'm gonna show them that with the uh, copperish color, which is really burgundy. I, I prefer this color. <laughs> right? Yeah. The, 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 this color is more subtle, but it's so classy. It's cool. it's really, really, really nice. <laughs> I just want to show you guys the flake. The amount of flake in this in this paint is, is, is insane. And you're gonna see that all over the bike. This, this has to be my favorite, uh, my favorite bike to the launch. I really like this color, I, but I prefer the white one, but the, this, this color is beautiful. So you're gonna have that 25th anniversary uh, badge right there in the front for the CBO collection. You're gonna have the forged carbon fiber fender in the front. Then we're gonna have the forged carbon fiber tank dash, and then the forged carbon fiber um, seat cow here in the back. That looks really nice. That, that, that's cool. It's different. It's cool. You're gonna have only a one seater on here, so you know, one person. I'm pretty sure you can switch this out and, and, and put you know a, a passenger seat in the back or so. But it's really cool. What they love about this is gonna be the the rotors in the front. The design looks really cool. It's new. It's edgy. It's it's, it's awesome. And the wheels. These are kind of like Prodigy wheels in a way. I'm not sure if they are still Prodigy wheels or not. But you can have the CBO brand right here with that red touch, which makes it look even more special as well. Uh, and the ST, you're also going to get that side chin fairing, which looks pretty cool. Um, it comes with the with different crash bar as opposed to the, the rounder one that's on the regular models. This is looks really nice as well. Um, details on the foot on the floorboards are really nice. These are like little mini floorboards. They actually have pretty uh, a pretty good amount of grip on there. Really like that a lot. Um, huge difference between the 121 on this bike compared to the 121 on the other CBOs that the other one comes with the BBT. This one doesn't. So the ST model does not come with the BBT. What it is is that it's a it's, it's a high, high output 121 and you were saying that it just, it's just more of a torque or engine engine yep. okay so you're gonna get obviously more torque instead of more horsepower there we go more torque on this one more horsepower on the other one um you got that big air cleaner here in the front and then you're gonna have showa front and rear suspension uh fully adjustable as well these are these piggybacks here the way they're hidden are really nice as well. So you're gonna have that show of piggybacks in the back. It's really, really nice. I really like this. I'm just gonna try to see. Touches on it really nice, mm -hmm. and then the screaming eagle here in the front fading into the tank. Really good detail. That's amazing. That, that, that's that's cool. That's really cool. Really nice. Um, one thing we forgot to mention: you're also going to have that forged uh, carbon fiber uh, uh, end cap on the exhaust. This one comes with the screaming eagle titanium exhaust as well. So this bike basically comes built from factory the way a lot of us will kind of want to make our bikes which is pretty cool that Harley Davidson is now offering that um, last but not least bars are different on the ST so you're gonna have this little riser on here it's pretty cool 
pretty, 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 pretty cool. And the price point. And the price point, which is forty-two thousand um, dollars. The other CVOs are forty-four thousand. I'm, I'm surprised. I thought it was gonna be a lot more money. I'm, I'm happy to hear that it's not. We got cheaper on the regular models this year. This is forty-two. No surcharges this year. No they had surcharges. last year. Surcharges are gone. Finally. <laughs> we have 143 models coming in from now till April. So we'll have bikes. Yeah, we'll have a lot of inventory coming through for the season. Nice. There you go. So if you guys are interested in the local area and you want to get a brand new bike this springtime, I got you. <laughs> Come to this guy. You might, but it, oh, which one are you going home with? So it's like, catch it right oh, we need to catch it on oh, video, so. He knows what's going on. He knows what's going on. If you guys are also looking for a lowrider, or lowrider SC, <laughs> we have a C of them. Five and like seven. Jesus Christ. <laughs> these, these, these are all new, by the way. And if you're looking for used bikes, there's a ton right behind me over there as well. So a ton of new bikes, used bikes everywhere. That's pretty much going to be it today. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's content. Um, my favorite color, shark skin blue and black. Yeah. And then if I had to get an ST, it'd be white. See, mine would be black. Yours would be black? I love black and red. So what, dude, I'll do the white one and do the black one. Let's go. In a magical world. <laughs> I'm going to get you guys the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.